What happens when you leave everything you know behind and you venture into the unknown? What if behind uncertainty and your greatest fears were the answers to become a greater version of yourself? I've been obsessed with this concept of the unknown, as you can probably guess because my channel's name is Projects Unknown. I've spent a lot of time wrapping my mind around the idea that if we want to make a personal change or to get something more out of our reality, we must go into the unknown. We must go someplace that we haven't gone before. To attempt to face that uncertainty and our fears to get that reward out of life that we've been looking for. My first time hearing about this was during film school when I learned about Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey. If you're not familiar with the Hero's Journey, it's a story archetype. And this archetype appears in nearly every story that's ever been told. In every story, our main character has some sort of goal. And in order to achieve this goal, they must leave their ordinary world and go into the unknown. A place where they have to face challenges, they make allies, they meet enemies. And nearly every time in the final act, the character experiences a major transformation. I think the hero's journey relates to all of us because in a way, we're all living our own stories. We're all living through our own hero's journey. We all have goals that are waiting for us behind, more often than not, our fears. I also think a lot about how the unknown works in the context of being a creative. I can find myself with my own artwork and creative projects dabbling too much in a comfort zone. And this often leaves me feeling very dissatisfied with my work. This can make the artistic process boring and unfulfilling. Usually I try to see this as a sign that something's holding me back from going into the unknown. And usually that's fear. So my goal with Projects Unknown was to not only help clients out who were dealing with their own creative blocks and fears, but it was also a way for me to remind myself that whenever I was getting creatively comfortable, to dare to go into the unknown. In the past year and a half of my life, I've gone through a lot of changes. I've moved from a big city in California to a small town in Sweden. My wife and I have had our second child and I've started to push myself to work on creative projects that I've dreamt about for a long time. All these events mentioned came with tons of challenges, but also rewards waiting for me on the other side. Moving to Sweden really marked a pivotal moment where my life took a different direction. It was such a huge change from California. Being from San Diego and living in Los Angeles, Sweden was about as different as it could get. Moving to a new country comes with its whole list of challenges. Learning a new language, making new friends and connections, having to adapt to seasons, experiencing a new and different culture. But during this time, I found a real opportunity to reinvent myself. Most people here in this small town in Sweden mainly know me as just the American guy from California who's an artist and makes videos. But this all gave me an opportunity to leave the old Chris behind back in San Diego where maybe I felt a little bit tied to who I was in San Diego. My history was there. People had an idea of maybe who I was from school and thought maybe I'd never changed. Moving to Sweden also gave me a chance to really focus in on my skills and capabilities. I would often have these doubts of my own creative skills and capabilities and I was able to push and lean into them. I've been able to collaborate with some other creative individuals out here and been able to push my own creative boundaries and step deeper into the unknown with them. But it also gave me an opportunity to build a family for myself. Um, like I've mentioned, I have two small kids and living in a small town in a new country, I'm able to focus in on being a father because we've kind of downsized our life a little bit. And I remember that 
before becoming a father, I had all these doubts that I wouldn't be good enough or that I wasn't ready. But instead, it came with the ability to step up to the responsibilities and to become a more mature person. All these changes in my life put me outside of my comfort zone and they forced me to adapt. I used to think that if I remained in my comfort zone, I could take baby steps into getting myself closer and closer to my goals. And yeah, sure, that may work for some people, but I could see that I had this tendency if I was in my comfort zone too much, I would slide backwards. I would usually get unmotivated and depressed and I wouldn't like being in that place. I found for myself that I need to push myself to go be uncomfortable. I can see it when I'm raising my two boys that real growth comes from challenging yourself. They have this natural drive built into them to want to push towards independence and growth. And watching them grow has been truly inspiring. I've been able to see that a lot of these fears that I developed for myself were learned. That when I was younger, I did have this natural curiosity and this natural tendency to be drawn to the unknown. And as I grow older, I can see how easy it is to start making excuses for yourself to not pursue your dreams. It's weird how creativity can work as a double-edged sword. You can use your creative mind to solve problems, but you can also use your creative mind to come up with problems. In a way, we have to learn to focus that creativity on things that push us forward. But don't get me wrong, I can see the benefit too of being able to see problems coming up ahead um, so you can be well prepared to prevent them from getting in the way of your own plans. So after living in Sweden for a year and a half now, I look outside and it is starting to turn from summer to fall and it uh, really symbolizes that a new chapter is upon me. Some big events are coming into our life this fall. We're going to be moving into a new home. My wife is starting a business and I've just landed what I think is a dream project that involves traveling and, and shooting content. All things that I'm excited to share with you in future videos and I'm excited to go do them, but I can see the fear and uncertainty creeping back in. Immediately, when all this good news started coming in, I started to get the voice of doubt in my ear once again. But this time I'm trying to use that voice as a signal to that I am on the right path, that I need to go into the unknown once again. All these good things that are coming are things that me and my wife have been dreaming about for a long time. And now that they're finally here, why should I be scared? I find it funny that sometimes when you get the things that you want, that you've been asking for in life, then you can build this like negative fear around it. I can look back at points in my life where I was met with opportunities that I've asked for and I've decided to turn my back on them. And, and those are the things that I really regret. But past regrets and past accomplishments, they all serve as a guide in the present moment to making the decisions that are on your plate right now. So with that, maybe I should get to the conclusion. Uh, the light's not really working with me right now. I hope this video reaches some of you out there who are on your own journey into the unknown I hope it helps you taking that step into facing your own uncertainty and fears. If you found something in this video that resonates with you or you want to share your own creative journey, um, drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching.